Hello, and welcome to part four. Like a number of the visualization tools we've used this semester, ArcGIS has certain particular requirements as far as how its data is formatted. Now, let's just pretend for a moment that we are soccer fans and we are interested in doing some graphics um, based upon statistics from the World Cups. And let's say we have a data table that looks like this. Now, the question we have to ask ourselves is, is this in, a, in an acceptable format for ArcGIS? And unfortunately, we've got a couple of problems here. Um, one of the major ones is that if we look here at uh, columns C through E, we've got a kind of a, a major heading and then a series of subheadings that represent various years in which the World Cup has occurred. Um, but from the uh, perspective of ArcGIS, all this is really a single parameter, and that parameter is date. And uh, as a single parameter, it really belongs in a single column with a single heading. So let's just say we take some measures to address that, and we end up with this. And so, okay, if you look at this, you, we've got the, uh, the issue with the date resolved. We've got all our dates in a single column. And um, as a kind of a side note, ArcGIS looks for a date in the format of a, a day, a month, and a year. And although I recognize that the World Cup occurs over a, a period of, say, several weeks, um, in this case, I've used July 1st as basically a proxy for the period during which the World Cup occurs uh, during each of the years in which it's held. So, all right, um, we've got that taken care of. So is, is this now sufficient for the purposes of, of uh, ArcGIS? And the answer is no, we've still got a couple of things we got to take care of here. Now, as uh, human beings, we're capable of recognizing that in column A, uh, USA pertains to lines 2 through 6, and Spain corresponds to lines 7 through 11, and so on and so forth. But uh, ArcGIS is not capable of making that leap of faith. Um, ArcGIS needs to be specifically told uh, what country um, applies to every single line in the data file. And uh, the other thing that needs to be considered here is that in column C, uh, under statistic, we have matches played, goals scored, shots on goal, yellow cards, red cards. And in reality, these are all separate parameters, and as separate parameters, they should each have their own column in the data file. So let's say we take care of that as well. And we end up with this, and we say, OK, is, is this good then? And uh, the answer is, to paraphrase uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, this one is just right. And also as an additional consideration, um, before importing a data file into ArcGIS, it's always a good idea to make sure that uh, the various fields are formatted as you want them to be in ArcGIS. So for example, here we've got an Excel file. And so um, before importing this into ArcGIS, make sure that these are in fact formatted in Excel as dates and that these are formatted as numbers as opposed to, say, general or text, because um, most often when you import something into ArcGIS, it will take the format that it's given in the original file and will just run with that. And if that doesn't happen to be the format that you want, it can cause you some headaches down the road. So it's best to make sure that you've got all that taken care of before you import the file. OK, and now let's uh, just take a quick look at uh, the actual data that I used for this project. Okay, now uh, this, uh, this tab with the Excel file shows the original data. And uh, by and large, it did not require too much work. Uh, now, column B contains the, the country. And I, I had somewhat arbitrarily decided to just focus on Europe. So um, I, needed to, I needed to strip out the likes of Algeria and America and Samoa and Argentina. Um, column C is the year. And so it's good that the uh, the year dates are already in a single column. Uh, some of them have a, a B appended to the end of them, so those Bs need to be stripped out, and all of these need to be put in the format of a of a month, day, year type date. Um, and the the only other real consideration is some of these 
headings are kind of lengthy, and sometimes ArcGIS has trouble importing very lengthy headings or headings that uh, contain unusual characters. So I'm going to change some of those, and while I'm doing that, I'll take some of these numbers in here, and instead of making them Instead of having them as 193.707 thousand, for example, I'll just convert it to the actual number, uh, which in this case is 193,707. And so once I did all that, I ended up with this. And um, basically, I was ready to go from there. So uh, that concludes my comments on the subject of uh, data formatting and my fourth uh, installment in this series. And uh, I hope to see you in part five.